So for this problem, we can try to use substitution, um, uh, but we'll quickly see that it doesn't work out. Because if we said u is equal to x squared plus 2, the derivative would be 2x, and we have much more than 2x. So what we can do is we can do a thing called long division. And you can, you can use long division when the power is greater than or equal to the denominator. So since 4 is bigger than 2, we can use it. If this was 2, we can still use long division. Um, so that's, those are the times you can use long division. So for long division, what you do is you put the numerator inside the denominator outside and then just start the process. So the first thing you do is you try to get rid of the x to the fourth power. So you have x squared. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Now, remember in division, when you're doing it manually, um, you're always subtracting. So now you're going to reverse all those signs because even though this was positive, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, it's going to be subtraction. Same thing here, negative 2, oh, I'm sorry, x squared times 2, it's going to be 2x squared, but it's going to be negative. So these two are going to cancel, x to the fourth and x to the fourth, they're going to, they're going to cancel. And then negative 2x squared, you leave right here. Now, you pull down everything left, so it's going to be 2x, negative 2x squared, is a negative here, and then x minus 4. And now you're going to do the same thing. So it's going to be negative 2, so negative 2 times x squared is going to be negative 2x squared, and negative 2 times 2 is going to be negative 4. Now the signs are reversed because, like last time, we're going to reverse the signs because you're subtracting. So we subtract the negative, so negative 2x squared, that's going to be a positive. And negative 2 times 2 is going to be negative 2, negative 4 actually, and then the negative is going to make that a positive. So the 2x squared uh, cancel because it's negative and positive, and then the x comes down, and then 4 and negative 4 cancel also. So we leave this alone because um, that's our actual answer, but we actually do have a remainder. What do we do with the remainder? Well, we put that over the denominator. So it's going to be x over x squared plus 2. So your actual new integral will be x squared minus 2, right, the actual answer, and your remainder, x, over your denominator, x squared plus 2. Now with all this, we can actually integrate this. So x squared right here, we can pull all these apart and make them three separate integrals. So it's going to be x squared dx minus 2 dx plus x over x squared plus 2 dx. Now, uh, what we can do is for this one, it's just going to be the power rule for the integral integration. So it's going to be 2 plus 1 that the exponent 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by that new exponent divided by 3 minus and it, since it's just the number we're going to multiply it by x so if it's an integral of 2 it's going to become 2x and don't forget the negative sign so negative 2x so we have to keep all this in mind and then we'll finally integrate this one so this one we can try u substitution so u is equal to the denominator denominator x squared plus 2 so the derivative will be du 2x dx, and then divided by 2 will be du over 2 is equal to x dx. So this represents everything in here, right? Is I said that u is equal to x squared plus 2. Um, I said that x dx is equal to du over 2. So I'm representing all of that in the new integral. Because 1 half times du is the same as du divided by 2. And then x dx, that, that is x dx. And then the last thing was x squared plus 2, which I'm representing by u. Now this is something you have to remember or memorize. Um, but one over, the integral of 1 over u is ln of u. So, you, so the integral is ln u. You keep the 1 half and then plus c. But you can't leave it like that. You have to add in u. So it's going to be um, x squared plus 2. Now, the final thing is right here, there should be a positive sign, a plus sign. So that will be your final answer because you plug in u and it'll be 1 half ln 
x squared plus 2 plus c, and then you, you have to remember to pull these down, so it's x cubed over 3 minus 2x plus all of this. So that's your final answer, and don't, don't forget the c, because that's a very common mistake. So I hope all of this helped, and thanks for watching.